Let's face it, impact etching machines are revolutionizing monument industry in North America. Since we started offering them 15 years ago, we have multiple customers convert from using laser to our machines or just start using our machines where they didn't use any etching machines before. There's a reason why nobody in Eastern Europe, where this technology comes from, uses lasers to engrave the stone. Impact etching is so much brighter, so much deeper, so much easier to use, so much easier to learn, and so much more reliable that laser just does not compare. So how does this technology exactly work? Let us find out. So at the core of the machine is the engraving head, which vibrates, reciprocates, goes up and down at the frequency of around 300 Hertz. That means it hits the stone 300 times a second, which is three times improvement from the models that we started offering 15 years ago. So we had a lot of progress. Um, while machine is hitting the stone, the gap that is maintained between the diamond tip and the surface of the stone is approximately 0.008 of an inch, or it is basically as thick as a couple of pieces of paper folded together. It's very small. And it's very important that that gap is consistent throughout the entire engraving. That's why our machines actually have floating head. While the machine is moving left and right and hitting the stone, it always tracks the surface of the stone by always moving the head up and down as required, because the surface of the stone is never perfectly level and never perfectly flat. How does it do that? It can work in that way because the head plays two roles. It acts as actuator, that means it hits the stone, and it also acts as sensor, that means it feels where the surface of the stone is so that it can adjust accordingly as it goes up or down. If you look at the machine, there's a motor that moves the entire assembly up and down during the engraving process. So to make this miracle of technology work, to be able to track the surface of the stone in real time as the head flies left and right, we need very specialized computers. We actually have two computers sitting inside of this box talking to each other, and we need a very specialized head. So that is where the miracle of this technology comes. So that's in short how our machines work. If you have more questions, comment in this video. If you find this video useful, please like, subscribe, or recommend this video to someone who might be interested in our machines. Thank you very much.